folks. It seems like that fake documentary title, The Main Battleground of the Comfort Woman Issue by the producer-director Miki Tazaki, the drama continues. Colonel Shunsan and two others held a press conference uh, yesterday in Tokyo in reference to this fake documentary, outlining the numerous concerns we had about it, about the deception that took place, and the falsehoods mentioned in there. And it was live streamed on YouTube. Well, apparently Mr. Dazaki watched it, and he posted a response to it on his Facebook page. Now, he starts it off rather curiously. He starts off his video by saying, Hi, hi folks. Gee, I wonder where we got that from. Hi, hi folks. Hi, 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 hi folks. Hi, hi folks. Hi. <laughs> hi folks. Hi. Hi, hi, hi folks. Ah, hi folks. Hi, hi folks. Hi, hi folks. Hi, hi folks. Nah, <laughs> I'm sure that was an original thought that came into mind. But in his response, it's totally absorbed with, hey, they knew it was going to be used for commercial use. He's only latching on to the part where it was said that we were unaware it was going to be used for commercial use and he outlines in his response that they should have known or they did know it was for commercial use totally avoiding the, the legions of other topics and concerns we have with this fake documentary forget about it then he also mentions in there that why would they have concerns about this fake documentary I made when I got congratulatory emails from both Shun San and Ken Kilbert upon the release, they sent me congratulatory emails. Of course they did. It was before they got to view the fake documentary. Once viewing the fake documentary, no congratulations was forthcoming. Being the decent gentleman that they are, they gave you the, the benefit of the doubt. They did not doubt you. They trusted you, whereas it was rather proven to be erroneous in that trust, but that's why the congratulations was often. He leaves out the fact in his response that the tone we were told was going to take a middle of the road, which he did not because he labeled us as denialist and historical revisionists. He also mentions in his fake documentary, we only had one document to support our position, which we do not. We have all volumes of documents from the National Archives. He brings up the Yasukini Shrine, has absolutely nothing to do with the comfort women issue. And then he mentions him at the end. The true intention is revealed in his fake documentary with his anti-American sentiments by warning the people of Japan do not upgrade your military because you would then be led into a war started by the United States. Once again, nothing to do with the couple when it, with the women issue. Did he mention that in his response to the news conference held by Shun San and crew? No. But he did. <laughs> he did and the best part was... You know what they, the old saying is that imitation is the sincerest form of flattery. Thank you, Mr. Dezaki, for that flattery. Domo arigato gozaimasu. All right, folks. We'll see you. God bless you. God bless America. God bless the nation you happen to be. And God bless our good friends and trusted allies in the land of the rising sun, Niankoku, Japan. See ya. <laughs>